How's it going everybody? I'm going to give you several new updates to this little Arduino project. It's no longer little, it's kind of expanding. Hopefully not too quickly that I can't handle it. So jump in. You see I have two servos and I also have two Wii nunchucks. And the cool thing is I can control one servo with one and the other with the other. So I essentially have two player control. Move that one up, that one down, that one up, that one right. Control them independently. Now the Arduino really only supports one nunchuck at a time, so I had to build a very small circuit out, or, uh, yeah, on a breadboard, essentially. Uh, what it is is three transistors, two NPN, one PNP, and one digital out swaps between them. So the data line uh, swaps between both Arduinos, you see, or both nunchucks. This, this is a player two, that's player one. So it looks like a rat's nest in there, but it uh, obviously makes sense. So it's really exciting because now we can have two people control. And as far as I can see, there's no lag. Although I am looking for lag. Uh, feel like it's there, but maybe it's just my imagination. I don't know. Uh, sorry, I'm getting this on the tripod. So if I move up, feels like it lags, but I don't know. Probably not to the, to the undiscerning eye. So that is update number one. Update number two and three are coming. All right, here's the second update. This is a game that I wrote called Missile Defense. So you see that laser going down right there? I have to stop that laser before it hits my city and blows everything up, I guess. So <clears throat> I can control this, and I have to aim at the other laser and fire at it and hit it. Fortunately, it's not working right now. This is just a proof of concept because as you can see, I don't have my uh, Arduino's locked down or anything. So uh, theoretically, I would, you know, point at the laser, shoot, blow it up, save the day. So uh, the missiles are generated randomly to rain down, uh, and <clears throat> I found out that the missiles were actually too fast for the Arduino. Uh, the Arduino was moving too fast and the missiles were going too fast to point at it, you know. So I had to artificially slow it down by uh, artificially slowing down part of the program. So this part moves normal speed. But the laser doesn't move until 50 milliseconds has passed. And I can adjust the difficulty by saying don't move until 25 milliseconds passed or 10 milliseconds. <clears throat> so that'll speed up the laser. Um, or the missile, that's a difficulty setting, so maybe it'll start at 50 or 100 and it'll tick down one millisecond and, you know, get harder and harder as it goes. Uh, but I think I'll have to use this technique in other games as I write them because if there's any uh, non-player controlled laser or NPC, you know, um, they'll go really fast because the Arduino is small and limited but so is this program so every single frame that's calculated calculates very very fast so you have to slow it down that's what I did okay for my last update if you remember before I only had one type of control and that is direct control over the laser if I let go of the joystick it moves back to the center I can swing it around in a circle, but it will stop in the center when I'm done. I've since added three more different types of controls utilizing the full capabilities of the nunchuck. First one, I'm going to switch pressing the uh, Z and C button. If I press Z, I can move it up and the laser will stay. See, I'm not touching it. So if I move it down, it stops. So this is static control, you can move wherever you want and boop, it'll stop. So the more you move the joystick, the more or the faster it moves in that direction. So 
The uh, nunchuck also has an accelerometer, a three axis accelerometer in there, so I can utilize that by pressing the C button. If I do that, I have direct control over it just by moving my hand like this. See, I'm not pressing the joystick at all. Move it up, I move it down based on my hand inputs. I roll back and forth. So it's harder to control, definitely harder to control because you think going like this will make it turn uh, left, doesn't. So you have to roll like that in order to move. You may actually change that because it has a Z axis and Z, I don't know, I have to do more work. So uh, what's cool is that the accelerometer, if you shake it like this, it moves all over the place, you know. Um, so I'm not even rotating my hand, but the accelerometer notices the forces in my hand. Pretty cool. Um, the last mode of control, if I press two buttons, it's the exact same as the other static one, except with the accelerometer. So, you move it, it stops. Move it, it stops. Kind of hard to find the center, so it's always kind of drifting a little bit. So, it's pretty cool not having to use the joystick, although it's... This would be, if you're playing a game, this would definitely be hard mode. <laughs> this, I'd say is the easiest. To me, that's the easiest. I have direct control over where it is. If I want it, if I want to be a little bit more precise, I can kind of, you know, guide it over and stop on the line. But this, it'd be super hard to do. If I want to get it around the box, it's difficult. But, some people might like that, so I added it. There you go.